Friday, so I'm back for another Talk Tuesday where I do my makeup while I chat with you guys. Um, I actually just posted my last Talk Tuesday yesterday, so I'm almost a week ahead on these videos. Today is Wednesday. Sorry for the loud truck outside. But I just find it easier to get ahead on videos where I can, and this is one of those ones where I can. But I had a number of questions about that video. Random black spot on my face. <laughs> about um, how to make money on YouTube. So I thought, why not just do a follow-up video and kind of answer those questions in this video. All right, so I just put on my blemish control primer, which I'm still undecided about, and I'm gonna use half of the Born This Way and half of the CC Cream, the Super Goop, because my skin's a bit dry and the Super Goop's a little bit moisture, more moisturizing. But before I go um, get my laptop, which is over there, and read the questions, I know several people wrote down, yes, a more in-depth video, please, because I said if you want a more in-depth video, let me know. I should have kind of specified a little bit more. Let me know what in specific you'd like a more in-depth video on, because that video was 20 minutes, and I feel like I covered a lot of ground, so I don't, for the people who asked um, they want a more in-depth video, let me know what specifically you want to know more about, like what category, and then like what road you want me to go down, because with a 20 minute video, I mean, I don't know what direction to take it, but some of you did write more specific questions, so I will go read those now. All right, so I'm just kind of starting from the bottom up. Um, more in-depth video, please. I've been wanting to start a channel for over four years now, so I, four years now, and I just can't seem to build up the nerve to do it. Every video I make, I end up deleting. Oh, you should totally do it. If it's something that you want to do, I mean, I don't think YouTube is for everyone, um, Absolutely, I'm not sitting here saying that everyone should start a YouTube channel. Definitely takes the right type of personality to kind of handle yourself online, but if it's something you've been thinking about for four years and you've, you've made videos and you've just deleted them, I think you should just pull the trigger and, and put one up and see what happens. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You, you don't like it, you get a thumbs down or something, it upsets you and you take it down? Like, I don't know. I think you should go for it. As long as you go into it knowing that um, the bad things, I guess, the bad things that can happen out there, they happen to everyone though. There's there's crazy trolls out there, there's negative people, there's people who thumbs down but don't comment. These things happen to everyone so you wouldn't be alone. But you'd be surprised. I bet you people are going to love your video. So I definitely, if you've been thinking about it for a long time, I want to give you encouragement. Just pull the trigger and if it's not for you, you'll figure that out but you'll never You'll never know if you don't try. I feel like I'm some kind of inspirational person right now. I'm not like that. I just, I think it's an awesome hobby and uh, I want to encourage people who want to try it out to do it. So someone said, in-depth video please, because I'd like to start a channel, but I'd love to know how to build an audience before I start. And if I had the answer to that question, I mean, wouldn't everybody love the answer to that question? Um, it's one of those things where it, you have to start before people are going to find you um, unless you already have a big following on some other social media platform and then you can just bring those people over or I mean you know somebody on YouTube with a big social media or a big YouTube following and you're gonna do a collaboration and that's gonna like jumpstart your channel but other than that it, you just have to start uploading like start your channel start uploading videos and people are going to find you I mean for example and I wish I would have put this in the last video we just started my husband's channel um, his cooking channel. So he's kind of starting from the ground up um, and some tactics that we're doing with him. Obviously I've mentioned him on my channel which helped give him a couple hundred subscribers in the beginning. Um, he has an Instagram account so every time he posts a recipe he cross posts it to Instagram and then hashtags lots of things so that people who are searching Instagram for recipes can be linked back to his channel. So that's one idea. What else is he doing? He's trying to kind of keep on trend with what's trending in the gluten-free world um, and trying to come up with recipes that are trending like on Pinterest or different food blog sites things like that so that new people can find him that way he's still catering to his audience by putting up everyday easy meals but he's also trying to you know follow the trends and figure out ways that people are going to search things and then end up finding his channel so there's definitely no easy way right off the bat to start an audience. It's just you gotta have a vision of what your channel is going to be and then start uploading content and just go for it. With all my answers, these are just my answers. So I'm sure a different YouTuber might have different answers. I hope you guys don't think I'm like 
the be all know all or anything like that these are just my honest opinions and kind of my experiences all right thanks for the video my question worries are having my face or my children's face online forever for anyone to watch scares me you don't know who's out there and that terrifies me and privacy also does one get bored Ooh, okay there's a few questions so having your face out there and your child's face out there that's definitely something you have to keep in mind i mean everyone's going to be different about that opinion um clearly i've been part of youtube and social media for a long time and not only my face but my entire my entire family's face and background and even right from their birth is online and that's just something that i'm personally okay with i'm very um kind of protective when it comes to where exactly we live and when we're in our area what I film um, whether it be m like markers around where we live addresses license plates things like that there's definitely ways to protect yourself but that's something you want to think about before you go into it yes these videos are always going to be out there but I mean for me it's like anything like Facebook Instagram anything like that if you're if you're part of social media, if you're part of the internet world and you're participating in some aspect or another, then your stuff is out there and it, I just feel like the majority of people's stuff is out there um, and if you want to keep your stuff private, then then that's totally fine. But I mean, even if you want to start a channel and you don't want your kids involved, there's lots of people who just have them involved and even if you don't want your face in it, like my husband's channel for, for instance, he has his face in a lot of videos, he doesn't mind, but he could totally do a recipe channel without having his face in it whatsoever and then it would be kind of like an anonymous channel he would just have his voice behind it so it's just up to you your comfort level but it's definitely doable without having too much information out there also does one get bored of doing the same type of content after a while is there only so much you can really say or do okay so that's the next question um well it depends what content you're doing that's why i'm saying when you start a youtube channel you really want to pick something that you're passionate about and you know you'll be passionate passionate about for a long time. Um, sometimes people's channels, they grow with them and the content changes because once you start doing something, like if I wasn't passionate about makeup anymore, I could, it's my channel, I could change this into whatever I wanted. And if I, I mean, I'm always gonna be a mom, but if I didn't wanna do mom related videos on my main channel anymore and I wanted to make it about freaking, I don't know, rock climbing, I can do that. I might lose a whole ton of subscribers who don't really care about rock climbing, that was a random example, but um, yeah, it's your own channel. You make it what you want it to be. So I, there's only one time in my YouTube career where it's not that I got bored. I just stopped making videos. It was about a six month span, maybe two years ago, two and a half years ago. We were trying for Cassidy and we tried to conceive her for over a year. And it was just, it was honestly just getting hard of being part of the mommy community and the TTC community and watching everyone get pregnant in their pregnancies and things like that. So that was a more of a personal thing. I lost interest in the entire community because of the personal struggle I was going through. And so that's the only time in my YouTube career that I, I didn't get bored, but I stepped away. Um, but yeah, I think as long as you keep doing what you love, you're not gonna get bored. All right, so next question from this person is, how do you know when or how to separate work from home life if this is your job? And that is a hard one. And that is something that I am struggling with I've been struggling with a lot this year um, and I'm constantly trying to find a routine, find a schedule, find balance because it is incredibly hard to work from home. When this was just a hobby, there was no deadlines, timelines, schedule, like there was no, what's the word I'm looking for? I could just do it when I wanted, then it wasn't a big deal. But now I put out so much content, I'm putting out between seven to ten videos a week across these two channels and then helping my husband out with his channel as well where's my bronzer so it's a lot and um i don't know it's one of those things it's trial and error i've definitely done a lot of trial and error and um i've tried lots of different schedules i used to film on weekends and that kind of took over our life and i found like i didn't have enough time for my kids when they were home so then I started filming during the week, but then that gets crazy. So that's something that I'm still still working on. When Cassidy gets a bit older, um, I might look at getting her in some kind of childcare maybe one day a week, just so I can get the bulk of my filming done without her here. I'm still nursing and it feels kind of weird, honestly, to be working from home, but then need childcare. Like that just feels so wrong to me, but I have to remind myself that a 
I'm being paid like a full-time job so anybody else who goes out of the house for a full-time job isn't around their kids all day and I'm lucky enough to actually be here so if I do need one day of childcare just so I can keep up with everything it's not the end of the world um, I still get to be blessed to be home so yeah I think you just got to keep it in perspective and, and do what works for your family and keep checking in to make sure that whatever you're doing is working. And the last question from her is, how does one's family, friends, work react to it? Thanks, Allison. You're welcome. Um, family? I mean, my sister is really aware of what's going on and she likes it. Um, my mom, like, she knows I do it, but honestly, she doesn't watch my videos and she doesn't really get <laughs> the concept of what's happening. I only just told my grandparents this year and, like, my aunts and uncles. Um, Harrison's parents are aware and they watch some videos and I think they like it. I don't know, we don't talk about it too much, it's just kind of one of those things. So, um, what was the other question? Family, friends. Friends, I just started telling the majority of them this year and most friends, well some of them are into the YouTube world and they get it and they think it's awesome and then some of them have no idea like what YouTube's all about and that people talk to their camera and like this is a thing so I think they might think I'm kind of strange. Okay, um, and work, I have not told my work. So I feel like one day they're gonna find out and some people for my work may, might already be onto it and just not telling me. Um, so if you're watching, hello. <laughs> There's one girl at my work who knows, um, but she's not really into the YouTube world so she doesn't watch, so. Yeah, uh, one day I'm sure they'll find out, but that's where I'm at. All right, I'm gonna play around with the revealed smoky palette that I got in, what did I get this in? Bossy box, boxy charm, yeah, boxy charm. Where is my brush? I have to hurry this video up because my husband just messaged me that Cassidy is ready for a nap. So there's one last comment at the time I'm filming this video, anyways, and it's uh, I would love if you could. Oh, thanks for making this video. I'd love if you could make another one. I love to learn how to. I would. <laughs> I gotta slow down. Bleh. I would love to learn how you build your video, meaning the beginning intro with different picks, videos, and music, how to edit your different equipment, microphone, thank you. Ooh, that's a loaded question. Okay, microphone, I don't use a microphone at this point, maybe in the future, especially with the road noise behind me, but I don't use a microphone. Lighting, I answered in one of my, um, um, one of my videos on my main channel, I'm trying to remember which one that is. I'll have to link it down below for you because I do go over lighting in my camera. And I do talk about the editing program that I use. Now, editing is one of those things that you kind of have to just learn. There's lots of tutorials on YouTube which help. Depends what editing program you're using. Using? Using? But it's also trial and error. Um, so I could tell you all about my editing program, but you might not be using that editing program. You might have a different one, so it would be kind of useless. If you do, use Movie Studio Platinum and you have like a specific question, feel free to ask, but anything that I want to find out, I just YouTube myself and I find out. Um, I would just start with basic editing, like make a video, once you bring it into whatever editing program that you're using, you can crop. So if I'm talking and then I kind of mess up or I don't know what I want to say and there's like silence, like that, then I can crop it out, pull that part out and mix the two together. So that's probably the basics of what you want to know um, as far as pictures things like that um, those are pretty simple too like if you want to insert a picture into your video you just import it along with the videos and then you can just put it in as a video again if you've been in the editing program you'll know what I'm talking about and if you've never tried to video edit before then this is all going to be foreign to you so let me know what video edi editing program you're using because my information might be useless to you but if you are using what I, I am using, then I am, I'm happy to help you. I guess my advice for editing is don't stress about being all fancy and don't try and spend hours and hours and hours on getting a video absolutely perfect and fancy and crazy effects and things like that when you're just starting your channel because not many people are going to see the first videos that you make anyways, to be honest. I still have some of my first videos. I think my first one's called my first YouTube channel. No, my first YouTube video on my channel. and. Um, it got like five views in the beginning. It probably has more now because I think people go back and see what your first video was just to laugh at you. But um, yeah, don't stress about it. Just make it basic. And if you can just even do a full-on talk through right from the beginning without having to edit, then I mean, that would be amazing. But that stresses some people out too to just kind of talk without stopping. So don't stress about editing. Um, 
Let's try and make it as basic as possible while you're starting. All right. So I quickly finished. Those are the questions. Well, here's the makeup first of all. Um, the eyeshadow is really pretty. It's not my favorite consistency, but it's really pretty. So yeah, those were the questions. Um, if you have more, and if you have more specific ones, like the people who just said they wanted a more in-depth video, let me know, and I will definitely answer them. Don't look at my hair, it's crazy. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye!